Hi. <laughs> if you can't tell by the title, um, we're gonna switch gears for a minute and talk about somebody else for a change. So raise your hand if you were in Monty's live today. Yes, I have a response to Miss Shani. Yes, we're gonna talk about Miss Shani for Christ, Shani BPD, Shani Animal Crossing. I didn't watch the whole thing because it, it, it kind of got a little repetitive. I felt like I heard the same things over and over again. I was like, okay, yeah, I get it, I get it. Everyone's bullying you. First of all, you are a grown ass woman. <laughs> Let's just, let's say that right now. You are a grown ass woman who is willingly putting herself out to the public for money. That's your thing. You are willingly doing this and you are cashing checks doing it. Girl, you ain't no victim. You beg people for money. You play up your your mental health issues and your physical issues and all the things that you have going on, all your issues, you play it up for money. You know exactly what you're doing and you know no one is bullying you. Secondly, I love how you're going hard for people like Foodie Beauty, Eugenia Cooney, Trisha Paytas. Those girls can take care of themselves. Maybe it's not so much Eugenia. I do worry about her myself. However, they've made a choice to put their business online and make money off of it. And honestly, Trisha Paytas, <laughs> I'm pretty sure she is completely satisfied with her life choices and I'm sure she could give a shit about the bullies or the, the negative comments. I mean, I'm sure they get to her every now and then, but like, it, she's she's laughing all the way at the bank, man. But it's nice that you go for her. Good for you. I mean, <laughs> clout chasers got to chase some clout, am I right? <laughs> um, also, <laughs> everybody on the internet gets shit from time to time. No one is immune to it. Not one single person. No one is immune to it. So the fact that you sit there and act like you guys are so unique and so special, and this doesn't happen to anybody else but this group of problematic women. Everybody gets shit. It's the internet. It's Satan's butthole. Okay, everyone's going to get it from time to time. Everyone. Everyone's going to hear it. Don't try to say it's cancel culture because most people... Don't live in squalor like you do, okay? Most people don't blow through. How much money did you blow through in like four years, three years? It was a lot of money. What, did you, what do you have to show for it? Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. And, and, and you do these things and you don't see a problem with it. Okay, fine. Don't see a problem with it. But you can't get it, you can't have it both ways. If you don't see a problem with what you're doing, then you need to accept the fact that people are gonna criticize what you're doing and that's just how it's gonna go. If you don't like it, then don't do it. <laughs> it's that simple. Listen, a lot of us are concerned for foodie beauty. A lot of us are. I'm one of them. I don't want her to die. But at the end of the day, she makes her own decisions. And this is what she's chosen to do. The money is more important to her than her life. So there's nothing anyone can do. She puts this out there on the internet. She gets high. She drives under the influence. She has in a very clearly a very abusive relationship, a very abusive, very volatile, very drug-fueled relationship. And she puts it all out for everyone to see. I mean, she literally puts her whole freaking ass out for the world to see. Girl knows what she's doing. 
And so if you want me to feel sorry for her because she's some sort of victim in all this, <laughs> no, no, she is the puppet master, okay? She's the one pulling the strings. So why should I feel bad for her? Why should I defend her? Why should I defend any of you? You're out there putting your ass out on the line for money. Why do I have to defend that? And why are you so bothered by it? You're an adult. Act like one. Most adults I know do not scream obscenities into your live stream for hours. There is something very unstable about that. Like, girl, are you okay? Are you, are you okay? Like, ma'am, this is Wendy's. This is Wendy's. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. If you want to watch it, <laughs> be my guest. There are loads of FUs, F-bombs, bully, 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 bully. I mean, she just uses that word to the point of where I'm like, can we stop using this word? It's overdone. She goes into cancel culture. She talks about how everyone's taking down her channel. Girl, you, you took your own channel down. You took your own channel down. That was on you. You did that. That was your decision. No one else did it but you. You have to live with your decisions. You made a, you made shitty choices. Live with it. You know, you could go and, you know, get a job, but you can't work. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, sure. You can't have it both ways. You can't have it both ways. You can't cry about people who are trying to make money and then sit on your ass for hours on end depending on us to pay for your shit. You don't get to have it both ways. It doesn't work like that. And you're very privileged if you think you do. You are very entitled. You feel like you are entitled to other people's hard earned money. What makes you so entitled to other people's money? Go out and make your own damn money. Make your own living. I don't care. I know people who are way worse off than you and they go out and they work 40 hours a week and they don't cry about it either. There's no excuse. There is no excuse. You don't wanna do that? Then this is what you're gonna be. You're gonna be the joke of the internet. Own it, own it, that's you. Foodie Beauty owns it. Just stop. You're embarrassing yourself. You really are. Don't. You're online playing video games and live streaming and, and doing anything but being present for your own children. So, <laughs> what, you gave him a hug at the end of the day? Wow, mother of the year. No, 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 no. <laughs> I love how you're like, this is why the aliens haven't come to visit us yet. Well, I mean, you certainly aren't selling the human race. If they saw you first, I can totally understand why they haven't, haven't shown up. They saw you first, they're like, yikes. <laughs> oh, is this what, like, is this what this planet's like? We're out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they saw her first, they were like, nope. That's cool. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> nope. They just like go back into the bushes like Gomer Simpson. Like, oh, what's up? Oh. <laughs> Way to go, Shani. Way to go. He scared off the aliens. Good job. <laughs> what the fuck is she talking about? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't go on a live stream and cuss out people. People don't have to agree with you. <laughs> People can disagree. People are gonna call you names. It's the internet. It's Satan's butthole, okay? People say stuff that just sucks and <laughs> whatever, you have to let it go. You have to. <laughs> you, can't, you can't sit there and dictate how the entire internet is supposed to act. <laughs> You can't do that.
that is not going to happen. And the only person who's going to be pissed off at the end of the day is you. You're the one who's going to suffer from it because no one else is hurting here. Just you. It's just you. We don't care. You're not, you're not, we're not going, oh my God, let me look deep within. Damn, she nailed it. No one's thinking that. We're all thinking, damn, she's lost her damn mind. Oh my God, she needs like some help. Like, are you okay? <laughs> You're not making much sense. You didn't teach any of us a lesson. <laughs> You're not very good at that. No one's feeling bad. <laughs> I don't feel bad for adult women who are more than capable of making better decisions and doing better things with their lives. I don't have time to feel bad. And if you want to put that out on the internet, then expect some blowback. That's how life is. You don't want it, then don't do it. Go play your little animal crossings and, and stay off the internet. Sometimes it's, things just aren't for you. Clearly the internet is not for you. <sighs> it's just crazy. I'm working on some non drama channel content and I gotta get it up before Thanksgiving. Do my best, I'm doing my best. I, I'm, I filmed, so I filmed the video and I hate it. <laughs> like, no, it's not good. It's not good, it's, it's a mess. I'm gonna scrap it, I gotta start over. I need to do more research, the clock is ticking. I can't believe I thought about this so late in the game. And I don't wanna be one of those people that gets it out after the fact, you know what I'm saying? So, gotta get my butt in here. <laughs> Hopefully I can film it tomorrow night and get it up. That's the goal. So anyways, keep your eyes peeled for some non-Chantel, non Channy for Christ content. Anyways, everyone have a good night except for you, Shani. I'm sure you're just like off somewhere popping a blood vessel. <sighs> Maybe picking up a car. <laughs> or more than likely just crying about what a victim she is for four straight hours. <laughs> God, I don't know how she gets anything done nailed to the cross like that. How do you do anything nailed to the cross like that? It's just, it must be exhausting. <laughs> anyways. Oh shit, that's too funny. All right, anyways, love to see it, love to see it. Everyone have a good night and um, yeah, happy Festivus. <laughs> All right, see you later, bye.